Hello there YouTube, Toran Han here and welcome to the 8th mission called uh, 1552 Kazan in the Rise of Moscow campaign. Uh, Kazan is uh, now uh, the capital of Tatarstan. It's, there's Kazani Tatars, but there's also there's Crimean Tatars and there's Tatars, Mishari Tatars in between in Tsarai and so on, and, and, and Tambov and so on. But what's interesting in the Russian language, uh, there's a Miyaki znak after uh, N. It makes it the consonant before it, uh, the N um, sort of uh, um, softer. So it's not Kazan, it's Kazani. Uh, like N. Uh, like, uh, uh, almost like a, there's a N, like a G, silent G and H there that makes it. No, not a G and H, but like uh, that's how it is. So um, it's supposed to be Kazan, not Kazan. Uh, but, anyways, uh, let's begin this 1552, the Siege of Kazan. Uh, of Kazan, uh, Tsar Ivan IV held the clenched fist of absolute power over his own people. Now he looked to claim new lands from a defined enemy. On the school here, we have three videos. So only one of them will be probably the briefing, and two will be extras. And one is the patron history for us to read. So it will be two uh, additional videos in, in, in addition to the briefing. Alright, so without further ado, let's begin. Following Moscow's growth in the West, Ivan IV ascended the throne and took up the eastern expansion plans of his ancestors. The Tartar Khanate of Kazan lay just across the border. But the Tartars had resisted many Rus sieges in the past. In his final attempt to capture the Tartar lands, Ivan would deploy bold new strategies. Ivan the Fourth's ambitions lay, ambitions lay far beyond Muscovy's borders. He brought the Rus war machine to the east of his domain and took aim at the Tatar Khanate of Kazan. And what's interesting is nowadays Kazan is uh, is like a uh, like it's kind of like Silicon Valley in a uh, uh, a lot of um, computer IT tech uh, is there a lot of filmmaking. Of course, Moscow still gets more lion's share, but Outside of Moscow, really, is Kazan, which is, uh, has a, right now a lot of business and IT and tech. So it's kind of interesting. Um, anyways, uh, I'm interested to see how they will show it. Will they show it as Mongols? Or will they show it with walls? Like, will it be half Rus or half, like, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see. For years, the Tartar fortress of Kazan had defied Muscovy's growing power. Now Ivan IV aimed to extinguish the weakened incarnate and claim this new territory as his own. To take the city, Ivan had to strike at the heart of the fortress and take out the Khan's personal guard. But first, the Rus needed a stronghold from which to support their imminent siege. Who is this? That's Ivan the Force. He is a um, gunpowder reload speed, so he should be with the troops. Increases the reload speed. So far, I think they're just using Mongols, I think. I'd be happy to fight with you, Tesna, in tight quarters or closely. Yeah, Mongols. I don't know, I think it's a, a somewhat of a missed opportunity to have a mixed uh, civilization that is a sedentary. Oh, let's uh, use this ability. Reload fast. Oh, wow. So that's what I would like, like, eventually I think Turks or Ottomans will be added. I'll be very surprised if they're not added at all. And it'll make sense for Turks to like 
begin a Seldrix, like, um, uh, uh, to begin nomadic, but then gradually, maybe in feudal or, or castle age, to be, to become uh, settled. Father of settlement. I think that's where we'll set up our camp. Taking the Tartar settlement, the Rus had secured a location for their stronghold. Ivan had prepared resources to rapidly construct a base on the Volga River, and his navy now delivered these. Interesting river navy. Okay. Where are they? Okay. Get over here. Let's set up. Um. Oh, no, they just want to wait. Lodia scout trip. Lodia? Lodka? Lodka is boat. But that's, I remember a K, not a yeah. Let's see his. Иду путем и приказ. Мой конь верный, нетерпелив есть. Я мой конь, my horse, верный, loyal, нетерпелив is impatient. Okay. The Muscovites established a settlement. Now Ivan would need to defend it, while building up a siege force with which to breach Kazan's walls. Uh, let's uh, build this here on this side. Okay, no. uh, where should I gain stone from? Uh, Wood. You. Uh, you. Houses. Uh, uh, let's, uh, and then go here. Uh, Healing. Why are you not healing them? Um. Oh, actually, yeah. You go around. Let's build up. Uh, more houses. Yes, kind of not the best position, but I, I needed it more. More for food than for 
Двигаюсь, уже есть. Да. Слушайте все. Слушайте все. Немедленно наказ исполню. Погоня, садитесь. Помогите. Идем на скорую все. Слушайте все. Wow, the scouting range is very high. Слушайте все, сейчас наказы будут. В лесу люблю трудиться. Слушайте, делаю. В лесу, in forest, I like to work. В лесу люблю трудиться. Слушайте все, новые наказы суть. Сдали нам наказ. Идти надо, накажете. Вот веду все, я коприкажьте. My monk not healing. Слушайте все, новые наказы суть. Кисо накажи. Отправляюсь я немедля. Двигаюсь куда велено есть. Is there a way he older is? Послушлив есть. Получим наказ сейчас. The father mostly comes from the left. I'm gonna. Okay, it's hard to block here, so I think we'll have to just push out. Oh, that's a very cool, very beautiful field. Or hill, I guess. Let's figure this out. Ожидайте на слушайте все идем. Не прав, слушайте все. Сейчас наказы будут. Внемлите. Ожидайте наказы. Дали нам наказ. Иди надо. Блюду. А все построено будет исправно. Готовы есть к делу. Слуги иду куда велено есть. Да, як прикажете. Иду, слушайте все. Сейчас готов двигайтесь. Двигаюсь у куда велено есть. Кисо накажет, двигаюсь. Think more like impulse and pure. I don't see any like upgrades. Отправляюсь и немедля. Немедля скачу на пряжь. Иду куда велено есть. Двигаюсь у куда велено есть. Слушайте все. Новые наказы суть. Ворожка. Слушайте все. Сейчас наказы. Есть сон, есть отдохновение. А вот ведут все, я коприкажьте. Наказ любые и спокойно я дяду дела. Мне наказ. I need more healers and I need to get that relic. Ten. Eight. Okay. Слушайте все. Но идем по скору все. Okay. 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 Okay.
Uh, get this relic. Um, uh, so the do Q, Sh Q, Sh A, Shift. Okay, I think I did right click at the end. Where is this gold? Okay. Get over here. Gold. Gold. Not, not working. Gold. Gold. I have enough archers, I think. Yeah. I need more melee. From the north? Oh no! I got my wills. Something there. Have an eight villagers on food. I need more. Way more. Okay. Oh yes. That would be very helpful. But I'm going for gold first, because gold is more important. Uh, can we build another? No. Okay, ah, uh, that's actually pretty. That's needed. Uh, 
скажете? Отправляюсь и немедленно. Двигаюсь и куда делено есть. Двигаюсь и куда делено есть. Не млейте, ожидайте наказы. Патрики, честь! О, да, атакинг from the side. That's actually very, very nice. Of 200. You stay back. Oh, that's a nice, nice thing to see them. Where's... Oh, Kamashi still... Oh, cuss an arm and a leg. Okay. I need more houses, but not here. There's so much space here. Готовы, если к делу новому. Не млит, так. Буду раприл, готов. Братья! 
It should be enough. Then I need the next. Be for farms. How far can we? How far can we push this? Let's push it over there. Still getting the benefit. Let's. Um, let's uh and then uh Q Of course we have to finish it. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, click left click until you get all of these, and then right click again. Uh, this is where. Uh, yeah, go here. And we block off. Then there and then here. And then we can we'll be good. One more. Alright, so good, so far so good. Actually, uh, this is kind of eating the force here. But, it, but it, by the end, they need more space, so at least force shots should probably go. Because I need Слушайте space up front. We now have 16 on food. That should be more than enough on food. I want... Yes, this stuff. It's pretty good at fighting them off. Yeah, they're kind of slow. I think Springles are fine. Too late, uh, but I still want a defensive thing there. Do I have a market? I do not have a market. That is incredibly... See, it's getting farther from that one. 
Um, I need a market. Can I delete this one? Um, Let's go up here. Whoa! No, no, no! Not the Mangonel! Well, that would really destroy all my. Heal up yourself. Yeah, I really think they're gonna be coming from here. Uh oh. Get over here. Oh, come back here. Get back. I lost a Sprangled. I need just the cavalry to man to stop these. Let's go and destroy this little other camp here. And some of you here. We get over here, we're gonna block off. Get over here for repairs. Um. I'm 
Maybe one more. Where's my sixth? Let's just attack. Ivan's army pushed across the Volga. They could expect stiff Tatar resistance. That piece sinks. Oh man, this. Repair everything, now we're repairing the northern. Repair! I'm pretty sure they're gonna they're gonna bomb rush me from here. Okay, who do I have here? Twelve? I need more of pretty much everybody. Yes, we did it. Okay. Kill them up. Repair that. Wow. Any... Oh man, this one guy is really go after these guys. Oh no, they went through. They went through. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah, I'll need to block them off. Finish them off. Okay. You defend here, but we still need more people to this army. Anarchist! 
Арсенал. Building. 
Transports, I don't care about transports. Found a, a relic. Get back, heal. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, heal up, everybody. One, two. Oh, yes. You go get this one. Can I come back here? Okay, I can't go here. Well, I'll need, I need some stables. My usual four. Hopefully they don't, they won't get stuck. Did they have a fortified palisade wall? Where are my two others? Get over here. One here. Uh, Spearman, that's very good. Um, time to get some knights. Let's get over here. And at this intersection, make this. Got it. 
Гряду путем верным. Oh, there you go. I think I need even more of these guys. Precision, all these things. Let's attack. Let's just attack. Okay. They have walls, I think, from the Rus. But inside is all Mong still Mongols, still Mongol uh, flag. So that means in scenario editor you can probably give buildings from different civilizations because Mongols don't have this naturally. No, clap, not the, it's very hard, it's like, it's trying to get the larger hitbox of the tree and missing the hitbox you wanna hit. Muscovite forces moved into the Tartar pasture lands. They were getting close to Kazan proper. Uh, something was repaired here. So cool, it's like the tower is not quite there yet. Let's heal up. Talkaiti push uh, Rudy engine. Defense. 
defend here and keep going. Pass. Destroy the knights. Nice. Maybe to heal up these troops. Служите готов. И дух удовелена есть. Чесон на каждом. Послушай, есть, не слови си кейждому. Так, they were... Where my villagers go? I have lots of... Miners. Where did they all go? Are they included here? 21 musketeers, nice. I guess maybe they killed them? I had gold miners, stone miners, where'd they all go? How did they um, Okay, kill this, and then this. Maybe these are better with that. I just get a good yeah I think here that that and stuff stuff we don't need this now we made room for a castle here not that we really need it Maybe we should go this way. Are there any more knights? Good. Should go, go all the way to this castle. I 
How about any upgrades here? Oh, we got all the upgrades here. All the relevant ones at least. Explore. That's a big Volga river. Okay. Oh, there's a bridge here. Let's, let's not be hit by that. Can you explore what's here? What is this? Call an outer wall. Outer wall. Somebody attacked us? Attack! Ivan's men were finally in sight of Kazan's walls. It was here previous sieges had failed. But Ivan swore this time would be different. Because we have 21 musketeers, that's why. Push! Get back a bit. Oh, they have walls! Oh, don't die! We need some, um... Manganels. And I need... More... Of these guys. Uh, By that um, forest. Двигаюсь, куда Елена есть. 
Служите готов. The force of the Muscovite war machine broke through Kazan's mighty outer wall. But the city had a backup defense. A second inner wall stood between Ivan and the Khan's personal guard. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Go. Saving game, I know why. Time to get in! The wall is 
Eastern or all Rus, it's not Chinese. Archers here. Sir. Okay. Warrior monks so again, very low number of warrior monks. Okay, I don't, I don't need these guys here. These guys keep making. Uh, inner wall. Let's go. to the inner wall. Kazan's inner wall crumbled before Ivan's forces. Within the inner city, the Khan's guard awaited. Archers fire on the move or not? Those archers. Ожидайте на 
Get these clump of archers. With a mighty war cry, the Khan's elite guards set upon Ivan's forces. Or probably not. Well, no. So, coming from the south would have been easier, I think. Someone else, get, get. Whoa. Ivan and the Rus overwhelmed the Khan's guard and seized the city of Kazan. For the first time, Muscovy began to push its borders eastwards, setting its ambitions on claiming ever more distant territories for the Russian Empire. Interesting roundabout, yeah. 
awesome we finished the Rus campaign next up will be the French campaign but there's two more videos I think we need to we have unlocked we'll see so uh, page from history Ivan the terrible he won the fourth victory over the Kalan Khan that marked the beginning of Russia and uh, I've got an achievement the rise of Moscow we finished it expansion across Asia to commemorate this great battle Ivan commissioned the construction of the most elaborate monument the world had yet seen St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow oh, St. Basil's was rather right after Kazan wow but as Ivan campaigned farther and farther beyond his own domain, the cost of maintaining his spending was passed to the Rus people. Crippling taxation soon bred discontent in the provinces. Certain that rebellion was festering, Ivan dispatched his fearsome private police to hunt down his political opponents. And convinced of their treachery, he also ordered the arrest of or murder of any relatives who might one day challenge his own son's right to the throne. Uh, this uh, state police was Oprishniki. A generation later, Moscovy was left with no viable heirs. The centuries-long dynasty that began with Daniel of Moscow had come to calamitous end. Okay, Streltsy, Legacy of Moscow. That's a mission Following briefing. Moscow's growth in the West. I... So let's see Streltsy and Legacy of Moscow. So Streltsy first, and then Legacy of Moscow. I think that's a, like a culminating or a, cl a climax or a capstone on the on the on the campaign. So first, Streltsy. Streltsy is the Russian word for shooters, and from the late 15th century, the armies of Moscow had included regular troops. Armed with an arquebus, a standard firearm in all European armies at the time. This is an arquebus. It's an early type of musket. To load it, you put a charge of black powder down the barrel. The ammunition is a lead ball. A paper wad seals the charge. Then both ball and wad are rammed home tight. To shoot the gun, priming powder is placed in the pan. The priming is lit by a match. Now, a match was originally a length of cord soaked in saltpeter so that it burns slowly but continuously, and even in poor weather. When lit, this sends a flame through a small hole at the base of the barrel which lights the main charge. One of the great advantages of the arquebus was that the ammunition was inexpensive and easy to make. Molten lead was poured into a special mold. It cooled to a solid state in seconds, making it possible for vast quantities of lead balls to be produced. They were finished by trimming off the excess lead which was known as a sprue. Streltsy received regular payment of both money and bread, and they lived with their families in purpose-built settlements called Slobody. Streltsy were a new type of army, ordinary troops recruited from tradespeople and farm workers. An early arquebus had an extremely heavy barrel. To shoot it with accuracy, the gun had to be steadied, and Streltsy had a unique solution. This is a type of axe called a bardiche, and for the Streltsy, it doubled as a gun rest. Like a Giselle. Arquebus men were usually vulnerable to cavalry. Even with experience, reloading takes time, and cavalry covers ground very speedily. Once you've shot, your position becomes perilous very, very quickly. However, with the scything power of a Bardiche, a Streltsy has at least the chance to withstand a cavalry onslaught. It took a brave cavalryman to ride into a hail of bullets, but an even braver one to face the horror of these axes. Over time, Moscow's armies recruited more and more men armed with guns inexpensive troops who changed the way war was waged but it was inexpensive due to mass production and industrialization that allowed uh, those lead balls and the i, I would still say the, the tech was still um in its infancy like arquebus and it was a musket and then uh, and a fusilier later all right let's see the legacy of musket
Ivan IV had broken through the walls of the ancient city of Kazan, and his army flooded the streets. They hunted down its defenders and their allies, and brutally sacked the city. Kazan had fallen to the unstoppable military might and strategic innovation of the Muscovite war machine. In the years that followed, Ivan IV waged war after war to bring vast new territories under Moscow's rule. By 1547, he had declared himself the first Tsar of all Russia. And his never-ending fight for territory set the course for those who ruled after him. Moscow was no longer a small fort on the banks of the Moskva River. It had survived centuries of Mongol oppression and wars with its neighbors. Its evolution from fort to city to state and to empire would continue. Moscow's rise transformed Russia into one of the world's greatest superpowers. Awesome, awesome. So next up is, um, yeah, 100 Years of War. It's the French campaign. See you there, over and out.